Hey guys, Brian the Telephone Guy here again. Today we're going to do a follow-up video on the new Sonom XP5 Plus, but we're going to focus this video on the knobs. Now, you can get this phone with or without the knobs, depending on the carrier that you choose. Not all carriers have elected to go with both models, so your, uh, your choice of phone will either be uh, determined by your carrier or if the phone is more important that might determine which carrier you go with now This phone has the two knobs on the top So this is the volume knob and this one is the channel selector So let's dive right in and uh, we'll take a look at how these actually function now Normally on this phone the volume up and down is controlled by the rocker key on the left hand side but there is a way to make the volume knob control the volume. And what that does is it frees up the left and right, or sorry, the up and down volume keys to perform other functions. So in a sense, they become programmable. So what we do first is we're gonna go into the menu and then we're gonna to scroll to settings and we're gonna open that. And then we're gonna go down until we come to system. And we're going to open that. And I'm just going to move the phone up here to get a little better daylight here. So under the system, you're going to see programmable keys. So that's the first one we're going to select. And knobs shows up at the top. So we're going to turn on the knobs. And then if we go to volume control knob, we can open that up. And these are all the things that we can control with the volume control knob. Now, we only have a choice of one. So we're going to leave it the way it is with the call volume. Down here, you're going to see volume level announcement, and that's turned off at the factory. So we're going to turn that on, and I'll explain that in just a second. So once we have this done, now we can choose the volume up key, which used to be on the left-hand side here, and we can select that. And then we can choose another application that we want to open. So just for example, let's choose calculator. And then for the volume down key, we're going to choose calendar. And then we're just going to boot out of that. Now, what this does now is it's freed up the uh, the keys on the side. So if we push and hold the up key, it's going to launch the uh, the calculator. And if we push and hold the down key, it's going to launch the calendar. So now, if you want to control the volume, you turn the knob volume on the top. level seven. And as you can hear, every time you turn it, it tells you what level you're at. Volume level six. Volume level five. And the thing it takes a little while to get used to is you actually turn this thing to the left um, to turn the volume down and you turn it to the right volume level nine. to turn it up. Now, you may be thinking, why would I want the thing to talk to me and tell me what volume level it's at? And that's a good question. If you didn't come from the LAN mobile radio or the, the uh, two-way world, uh, you may not realize the significance of this. But a lot of the people that are going to use this phone with the push to talk app are going to have a lapel mic attached to the thing and the phone itself is going to be in a holster or possibly under a jacket and it's not as accessible as uh, you would like it to be so what this does is it gives you the ability to adjust the volume and the thing will tell you what volume level you're at so you don't have to see the screen to uh to know what uh, level the volume's at and in the uh in the push to talk world, this uh, actually is a very significant feature that you'll find very handy. So that's the quick explanation of the volume knob. Now we're gonna look at the channel selector knob. So on this knob here, if I can get this to focus properly, you're gonna see the numbers and there's numbers one to nine on here. And there's a dot each between each and every one of them. And then on the knob itself, is a white indicator line. So now this tells me that we're on channel one and now we're on channel three. So in order to use the channels, you have to subscribe to what they call a push to talk application. So what this is, is um, it's like the two-way radio crowd where instead of making a phone call, you push the push to talk button and you hold it down while you're talking and you let go to listen. Now, anybody who comes from the two-way radio or in the old days, uh, in the TELUS world, we used to call this the mic system. And um, it what it does is it gives you the ability to connect with groups of people or individuals without making phone calls. So it's an instantaneous version of a phone call. So when you subscribe to an application that's push to talk, and most of these are going to be... Um, 
powered by ES Chat. But if you're on ATT in the States, it's going to be called Kodiak. And if you're on Bell in Canada, it's going to be called Kodiak. If you're on Chatter in the UK, uh, that's the white labeled version of ES Chat. But basically what it does is it gives you the ability to use the computer to open the app and you can create groups that you can talk to. So if you're running a construction company and group number one is the foundation crew and group number two is the framer and group number three is the roofers, what you can do is you can set the group so that you can talk to all the framers at the same time. So in the old days, what you had to do was you had to go into this into the app and choose the group that you wanted to talk to. Well, now what you can do is you can go one step further and you can put channel one as the foundation group, you can put channel two as the framers, you can put channel three as the roofers. So if you want to talk to all the framers, all you have to do is rotate the channel knob to channel two and then push the push to talk button. So like I say, this to use the, the channel selection knob, you have to subscribe to a push to talk app. And that's the reason that they came out with this phone in two versions with or without the knobs. So whether or not you use the push to talk is what should determine which model of the phone that you buy. So I hope that clears up any confusion that there is on the uh, on the functionality of the knobs. Uh, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and a uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please post them down below and I will get to them just as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.